Welcome to episode 3 of Folder Decoder. In this series, I choose a folder that I've personally used throughout the Battlenerk series, or that has been suggested by viewers in the comments to highlight in a video. The idea is to break down each folder to see which chips go in the folder, and to see how each folder works, by splitting the folder up into primary, secondary, and backup chips. You'll also get to see that folder in action in each episode. As a quick disclaimer before we begin, please keep in mind that the folders I feature in this series are not intended to be used in PvP matches. Nut battling online is completely different from playing through the story and post-game content of each Balneric game, and while I do have some knowledge of PvP in Balneric 6, I don't have enough knowledge in the other games to recommend any PvP folders. Also, keep in mind that a lot of these folders aren't going to be post-game exclusive. If you enjoy this series, or if you find this episode's highlighted folder to be fun or helpful to use, please give the video a like. Also, don't forget to sub to my channel for more Balnerd content. With the intro out of the way, let's talk about one of my favorite folders to run in the post-game of Mega Man Balnerd 5 Team Proto Man. In my recent Balnerd 5 Team Proto Man Double Souls video, I mentioned that I would be showcasing a Magnet Soul folder in this episode of Folder Decoder. The folder we'll be looking at focuses on V-Code chips and relies on Magnet Soul's chip charging ability to end up dealing quadruple damage to enemies. The way it works is actually pretty simple. For starters, the first primary chip is actually a setup chip rather than a damage dealing chip. This chip is C-Seed, which conveniently comes in the star code. This chip can be obtained in the end area to green mystery datas, but only when viruses are upgraded to level 3. In this game, viruses are upgraded to level 2 or 3 as soon as you open doors to the post-game nebula areas. Fortunately, the statue in End City actually connects directly to End Area 2, making this a pretty easy chip to grind for. The next set of primary chips are the main damage dealers that you'll be using with Magnet Soul's chip charge. These chips are Volts 3 and Elect Real 1, both coming, of course, in the V-Code. These chips are great to use with Magnet Soul, as their damage output is really good. On top of that, Elect Reel doesn't cause flinching, so you can use other chips immediately after it to rack up the damage. You should also throw in a few Dunder chips in the star code that can be used as sacrifices for Magnet Soul, although honestly, hitting for 160 damage and paralyzing with them isn't too bad either. The last primary chip is Dark Thunderball in the M code. Although the code for this chip doesn't really matter. Rather than making Regal and Shade Man happy by using a Dark chip, we can be using it to activate Chaos Magnet units instead. With these primary chips, the goal is to hit your opponents on C panels with your Elect type chips. When hitting enemies on C panels with Elect attacks, they end up taking twice the usual damage. This can be stacked with Magnus Soul's chip charging to make chips deal 4 times their usual damage. This means that Elect Real 1 goes from doing 80 damage to 240, while Volts 3 goes from 140 damage to a massive 560 on a single hit. And if you're facing Blizzard Man, well, let's just say he's gonna be having a terrible time, seeing as we haven't even included element weaknesses in this calculation. On top of all that, C panels cause enemies to move slower, making it even easier to hit them with your chips. In a sense, this folder's strategy is the perfect storm. The secondary chips for this folder are going to look very familiar at first, but I promise there's another unique one in this video. First off, the custom gauge managing chips, fast gauge and full cost are both used in this folder. As usual, I throw these chips in a folder to help you get to the custom window as quickly as possible, allowing you to use chips as much as you can rather than relying on charge shots. Invis is also making a return in the star code due to its incredible defensive capabilities. It's always helpful to give yourself invincibility frames for a while, and the number of attacks in a game that can pierce Invis is pretty small, so it's always a great addition. In addition to the usual secondary chips, the V-Code comes with another interesting one that works well in this folder. That chip is the Custom Volt 1 chip, which deals damage according to how full the custom gauge is. Custom Volt 1 can deal up to 110 damage when the custom window is about 80% full, multiplied up to 440 damage when using Magnet Soul's charge and C panels. 
It's very similar to the custom sword chip, but in a lek element, and very fun to use in this folder. Now for the big surprise. Usually, the support or backup chips in my folders are additional ways of dealing damage or simply chips that are used to fill in gaps until I have dirty chips in my folder. However, with this folder, the backup chips aren't just filler. They're a completely separate strategy. As it turns out, the V-Code comes with tons of sword chips, which means I get to use both of my favorite double souls in a single folder. Sword chips that come in the V-Code include chips such as Wide Blade, Variable Sword, the Neovari Mega Chip, and even Moonblade 2. This means that the Proto Soul Moonblade Charge that I praised in my Team Proto Man Souls video can actually be used in this folder. The V Code, of course, contains other chips that can be pretty useful as well. One of these chips is Scully 2, a chip that can deal decent damage and cause confusion on opponents to hit. There's also Magnum, which can be used as an option for going into Search Soul. Boomer, a nice way of hitting Cloud Man for element weakness, and even Northwind, if you want to get rid of Base Zora. Lastly, you can always try Wave Pit in the Star Code as a tech option, as that chip is set up by the CC chips you've already been using anyways. Here's the final version of this folder that I'll be using in the demonstration portion of this video. I of course went with 4 copies of the primary chips, Electrial 1, Volts 3, and CC Star. I also went with 3 copies of Thunder Star and my copy of Dark Thunder to activate Magnet Soul. After this, we have Full Cust and my 4 copies of Invis. I'm leaving Fast Gauge out for now since I only have 1 copy of it and it's in my other folder. Balnard 5 problem. Next up, I decided to put 2 copies of Custom Volt 2 in the folder to fit the Elect theme. Two copies of Wide Blade alongside three copies of Moonblade 2 for the Proto Soul aspect of the folder. And finally, two copies of Scully 2. Here's some footage of this folder in action.
that about wraps up what I have to say about this amazing folder. It's such a fun folder to use in this game, and one that I will always use when it comes time to bully Blizzard Man SP. I do have to admit, however, that this folder does have some opponents that it struggles against, such as Cloud Man and Shade Man. If your Volt Chip lands on a Cloud or on a Bat in your respective fights, you unfortunately wasted that chip, so other folders should be used for those fights instead. Nevertheless, this folder is a lot of fun to use and can really help you with S-ranking enemy navvies in the postgame. If you enjoyed this video or are thinking of trying this folder in your own playthrough of Balnarch 5, please give the video a like and make sure to leave a comment below if there's any folders you'd want me to feature in another video. Unfortunately, this series doesn't seem very popular in the YouTube algorithm, but the responses people have been leaving in the comments have really encouraged me to keep this series going. I honestly appreciate the feedback and suggestions I've been receiving in my other folder decoder videos so much and I can't express it in words. If this is your first video you're watching in the series, make sure you check out the first two episodes as well, where I showed off folders I've used in Balnaric 3 and Balnaric 4 so far. As a final note, I'm still streaming the entire Mega Man Balnaric series from beginning to end, including post-game content for each game in the series. As of the time of this video's upload, I've recently started Balnark 3 and I'm working my way through the story as quickly as possible so I can finally play that amazing Balnark 3 postgame. My Twitch channel will be linked in the description below and any support there would be greatly appreciated. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy trying out this folder and as always, thanks for watching.